live in your name. Amen. That is the name that is above all other names. At the mention of the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow. Every knee shall bow. And every tongue shall confess that Jesus is Lord. Every knee shall bow. And every tongue shall confess that Jesus is Lord. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus. We come to you tonight. Father, in the name of Jesus. We come to you tonight. We come to you tonight. With our open heart. With our open hearts. One more time, say, Father, in the name of Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus. We come to you tonight. We come to you tonight. With an open heart. With an open heart. Fill my heart. Feed my heart in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Every impossible. Every impossible shall become possible. Shall become possible. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Say every impossibility. Every impossibility shall become possibility. Shall become a possibility. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Begin to pray that prayer. Oh yes. Begin to pray. Decree every impossibility is turning to possibility. Possible is coming. Every impossibility is turning to possibility. Wherever there was no way, right now a way is coming to you. Wherever there was darkness, light, light is coming the mighty name of the Lord Jesus. Wherever there was a road, whatever was a negative, it is a yes right now. Wherever there was in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus. Oh yes, mighty God, you are the one who is Able. Is God who makes a way where there is no Lindo way. Father God, nothing is impossible with you. Streams of water in the desert in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus. Fruitfulness in the drought. Rima zeke pareke taka shukwe kerere. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus. Reke papa reke keke rika pareke sherere. Mari sarama kashere meke taka shukwe kya karaka sharara. Oma rasiere meke akataka shukwe kerere. Wherever there was a case, a blessing is coming into being right now. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus. Yes, yes, yes. Rama zeke pareke. Something is Fruitfulness is coming right now in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus. Where there was premature death, long and long life in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus. Fullness of life, Rama Sika Pareke Kekerika Pareke, it is happening right now in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus. Rama Sika Pareke Kekerika Pareke, Mandi Kapareke Taka Shukwe Kekaraka Sedele. A way where there was no way in Jesus. Amen. Oh, yes. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. I want you to pray Amen. to welcome the presence of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Tell him to minister to you tonight. Amen. Without the Holy Spirit, you can do nothing. But with the power of the Holy Ghost, you can do everything. 
you can Holy do all Spirit. things through Holy Christ Spirit. that strengthens you through the power of the Holy Spirit. Oh, yes. Begin to Holy welcome Spirit. the presence oh, of the Holy yes. Spirit. Holy Spirit, you are welcome Holy in this place. Spirit. You are welcome. You are welcome. Holy Spirit, 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 you are welcome. Raise your voice and pray. Renew my life. Raise your voice and pray. Oh, Holy Spirit, have your way in this moment. Have your way in this place. Do what you are supposed to do. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus. Take over, oh Father, every voice, every action, every eye and every ear, every mind, every heart. Almighty God, Holy One, take over in this moment. Be the one to influence. Be the one to influence. Be the one to conquer us. In the name of the Lord Jesus. In Jesus mighty name. In Jesus mighty name. Amen. Father we Amen. thank you and we bless your name. Thank you for every single soul that is gathered here tonight in this prayer. Amen. May you have your way tonight. May you touch every soul tonight. In the name of Jesus. May you speak to your people. Amen. May you answer their prayer. Oh, yes. May you deliver Amen. the captive. Oh, yes. Amen. Deliver the captive. Yes. May you heal the sick. Amen. Destroy every sickness. Oh, yes. And every spirit Amen. of death that has been pursuing your children. Oh, yes. I decree fire in the name of fire Jesus. In the name I decree fire in the name of Jesus. Fire! I pray you shall live and not die. Oh, yes, sir. I say you shall live and not die. I receive it. Death will not have dominion over you. Oh, yes. You are full of life. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. I speak I life in you. I receive it. I speak Jesus. life in you. I receive it. In the name of Jesus. Oh, yes. Sir. Shout, I receive, I receive, I receive. I receive, I receive, I receive, I receive, I receive, I receive, I receive. I receive. Amen. Amen. I'd like to take this opportunity to welcome you to this night of prayer. Yes. Amen. Amen. And I want to assure you that God is answering your prayer. Hallelujah. I say God is answering your prayer. Before we continue with our prayer session tonight, Remember, we are in our intensive prayer unit where the impossible become possible. Amen. When you read in the book of Luke chapter 1 and verse number 37, it says, for with God, all things are possible. Oh. Say, with God, all things are possible. With God, all things are possible. And when you dig deeper into scriptures, the Bible now is telling you that to whoever believeth, it shall be possible. Amen. So the weapon that God has given you is faith. And faith is a spiritual force. Amen. Faith is a spiritual force that gives you the ability to take delivery that which God has given you. Oh, yes. It gives you the ability to manifest what God has already said. Oh, yes. And tonight, I will share with you what God has put in my heart to share with you. Amen. It is in collaboration with what I started on Sunday. Oh, yes. And it's very important for you to have this. Amen. Before I speak, before I teach. Yes, Daddy. Are you here? Yes, Daddy. Are you here? Yes. Yes, Daddy. There is a woman who is in a place called Sumeb. 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 Maso Pradoshe Katalize. Raso Katarimba Soriza. Just lift up your hands wherever you are. Say, Father, I am ready. Say, Father, I am ready to hear from you in the name of Jesus. Say, Father, I am ready. To hear from you in the name of Jesus. Say, Father, I am ready to hear from you in the name of Jesus. 
I want you to pray that, Father, I want to hear from you tonight. I am ready to hear from you tonight, and I want you to speak into my life right now in the name of Jesus. Just raise your voice and begin to pray that prayer. Father, I am ready to hear from you. I am ready to hear from you in the name of Jesus. I am ready to hear from you in the name of Jesus. I am ready to hear from you in the name of Jesus. I am ready to hear from you in the name of Jesus. I am ready to hear from you in the name of Jesus. 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 I'm ready to hear from you. In the name of Jesus. Cedro Badosi. La Sacata Parigi. Intra Sopra Doshe Ketelize. Ze Cotorama Se Pradoshe. Le Casatarama Se Bradosi. Reco Soparaba Se Ketelize. Le Topra Doze Tarizi. Ze Cotoparina So Parisi. E Cradosa Parishi. Za Cataraba Se Ndalizi. Le Dozo Parishi Ketelize. E do Bazo Pradoze Carishi. Aroso Perisi Ketelize. Rato Paraso Turizi. In the mighty name of Jesus, I am ready to hear from you. I want 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 to hear from you. In the name of Jesus. I want to hear from you. In the name of Jesus. Sando Parese Carizin. Requete Lisa Paraba Sopradoshi. E corana to Paris Ketelize. Father, we give you all the glory. We give you all the praise. We give you all the praise. Sato Pradoshe Keteliza. We thank you and we bless your holy name. There is none like you. There is none like you. We give you all the glory. We give you all the praise. We give you all the praise. In the name of Jesus. 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 Father, we want to hear from you. We are ready to hear from you. We are ready to hear from you. In the name of Jesus. Seco Pradoza Harishi. Ela Zo Pradoza. La Sakaraba Shekitilizi. Inda Pradosi Kerisa Tolishi. La So Pradosi Ketelizi. Faruba Tolisi in the Maso Pradoshi. La Se Pradosi in the Maso Doli. Rasa Katarawa Tolisi. Raso Pradoshi. Lenda Saraba to Lishi get easy. Reto Dosa. Ida Sopra Dosa Shed. Rebo Soto Ipan Bossi. Oyes. Reketeri Sopra Dosa. Oyes. Ida Rasa de Lishi. Ida Raba Sekiteri Shed. Radova Sopra Dosa. Zeto Faha de Lishi. Oyes. Ida Raba Sita. Ida Topi Lishi. Radova Ikete Lishi. Leko Bara Sete Lishi. Let's <laughs> Marina Sopros, Lazar Barabashi, 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 Lazar Barabashi,
kind and merciful. Father God, I come before you asking for forgiveness, O God Almighty. Forgiveness of all my sins, O Lord. The ones I committed knowing it, even the ones I committed unknowingly in the name of the Lord Jesus. Wash away, Father God Almighty. Wash away never to be remembered again, O Lord God Almighty. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus, I repent of all my trespasses. I repent of all my sins, O God. I repent of all my wrongdoing, O Father. Make me new in the name of the Lord Jesus. Make me a new creation, O Father. Give me a new heart, O Holy One. Remove the heart of stone, O Lord, in this moment. And put a heart of flesh, O Father, God Almighty. O Lord, remove the blindness in this moment. And give me sight, O Father, to see what you are showing me, O God. In the name of the Lord Lord Jesus. Father, I pray for the desire, O oh God, in the name of the Lord Jesus, O oh Father, your spirit to take over. Mighty King, wash it all away, O oh Father. Whatever was so mighty God shall not be no more. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Ramazeke karika pareke shere marika paramazike reke akataka shukwe ke akaraka shere. Rimazeke in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus. Oh, mighty God, you are the God who is able. You are the God who does not remember, Father God, our past sins. You don't remember, oh Lord, no matter how bad it is. In the name of the Lord Jesus, you said you will wash it clean, oh Father, and will be as white as snow. We will be as newborns, oh Father. In the name of your Son Jesus, we come humbly before you, oh Father. We bow down before you, oh Lord. Asking that you may wash it all clean, O Lord God Almighty. Make us new creations, O Father. Never to go back to our past ways. In the name of the Lord Jesus. And teach us, O oh Father, as you are forgiving us in this moment, to forgive those who wronged us, O oh Father God, never to hold it against them, Almighty oh King. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Rama zeke kerika pareke sharama kataka shukwe kerit. Mari sareke ma kataka shukwe kakaraka sharara. Rima zeke reke akapareke taka shukwe kerit. Rima sireke akapareke sharara. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus. Oh yes, mighty God, you are able. Thank you, Father God. Thank you, Holy One of Israel. Thank you, Almighty King. That we have confidence that you are the God of justice. You are the God who is true. You are the God who never change. In the name of the Lord Jesus. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus. In the name of the Lord Jesus, we glorify you, mighty God. We worship you, O Holy One. Rama zeke keri kapare keta kashere. Have your way in our lives, O God. Have your way in us, O Mighty God. Makare keri kapare keta kashere. Mara siere me keta kashukwe kya kara kashara. Reke keri kapare keta kashukwe kya kara kashere. Mara sarama kashere me keta kashukwe kya kara kashara. 
Oh yes, mighty God. Oh yes, Holy One of Israel. Name that is above all name. Ramazika pareketa kashukweke. God that is the provider. God that is the savior. Ramazika pareketa kashukweke. Imazeke aka pareketa kashukweke aka rakashara. We glorify you, mighty King. We worship you, Holy One of Israel. Rima zeke akaparika sheren. You are defeated, O God. Mighty men of valor. Rima zeke akaparika sheren. Rakata kasheren kiteke shukweke akaraka sheren. In Jesus Christ's mighty name. Marika parike teke shukweke leden. Rima zara kaparika sheren. O maziere ke akaparike taka shukweke akaraka sheren. In Jesus Christ's mighty name. Maka kakareke keke keri katarara. Rima zereke keri kapareke taka shukweke leden. Rama zereke akapareke taka shukweke akaraka sheren. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Marika parike taka shukweke akaraka sheren. Mara ziere meke akataka shukweke leden. Rika papareke keke rika tareke keke. Mara zereke maka sheren. Marisa rama kashere keta kashukwe kya kara kashere Rika maka pare keta kashukwe kere O marasiere me keta kashukwe kere Rika papare keta kashukwe kere Marisa reke maka shere In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Mighty name of the Lord Jesus Oh thank you Holy One of Israel Father, I thank you and bless your name. We give you all the glory, we give you all the praise. We glorify you, Jesus, and we welcome you tonight. May you take over. Thank you for forgiving our sins. Thank you for washing the children with your blood. I decree your life will never be the same again. I receive. Your life will never be the same again. I receive it. In the name of Jesus. Amen. In Jesus mighty name. Amen. In Jesus mighty name. Amen. You can have your seat. Tonight is a night of prayer. And uh, this is a night of intensive prayer. This is a night of intensive prayer. And the Bible says in the book of Isaiah that it shall come to pass before you call, I will answer. I receive. God is watching and God is looking into our hearts. Amen. And on Sunday I spoke something about that. I talked about why is it that God requires of you in a service, in a worship service. And I always say that um, it is important to serve God within the patterns of his own will. God gives instructions for you to do something and he has a way that that, that instruction has to be done. So if you obey God, you have to obey God according to the structure that he has already established. In this kingdom, this is a kingdom that is already established. The structures are already established. You don't do things your way. You do things God's way. We are told in the book of Matthew chapter 6 and verse number 3, but seek ye first the kingdom of God. You cannot be wiser than that scripture. Seek ye first the kingdom of God. And Seeking the kingdom of God is not only to pray and to, and to fast. It's about everything that you do must reflect seeking the kingdom. As you put the kingdom to be number one, God will make sure that you are also number one. God gave us the biggest gift he has ever given us that is eternal life. What is it that God cannot give you if he can give you eternal life? If you have got a life, you have got something big to thank God for. Amen. 
if you have got life, you have got the biggest testimony ever. Amen. Anything you take for granted, the devil takes advantage of it. Jesus. That's why we are told in everything, give God thanks. You might be going through challenges here and there. We are told in the book of First Corinthians chapter 10, verse 13, that all those things are common to men. But God is faithful. And God has proven his faithful in your life by keeping you alive till today. We have seen many people who have passed away because of the calamity that struck this world. But God has preserved your life. I want you to focus on what God is doing. Focus on what God has done. By focusing on what God is doing and what God has done, you will have a prayer of thanksgiving. Amen. And a prayer of thanksgiving is a prayer that brings up, it, it, it pulls your miracles, it puts speed Amen. to the fulfillment of your prophecy. Oh, yes. Every single person that complained and murmured during the days of Moses, they never made it to the promised land. It does not mean that God was a killer. It does not mean that God was lying. Whatever you do defines your destiny. Nice. Whatever you do defines your destiny. Whatever you do is a culmination of your identity. You cannot say I am more than a conqueror and the thing that you and the thing that you do does not reflect exactly what you are saying. So you are just quoting scriptures which have got no reflection in your own life. Mm. It is time to mean what you say by doing exactly what you are confessing. Your actions backed by your confession will automatically give birth to a miracle. Amen. You will become a miracle in the making. You will be a walking miracle. You will be a walking testimony. God will confirm his word in your life with signs and wonders. The Bible says, when men say that they shall be a cast down, you shall say that there is a lifting up. You only speak what God has said. You don't speak what the world is speaking. And we read in the book of Romans, chapter number 12, beginning from verse number 1. He says, I beseech you, brethren, by the mercies of God, that ye present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable unto him, for that is your reasonable service. That is your reasonable service. And on Sunday I was talking about what is it that makes a worship service acceptable unto God. And verse number 2 of Romans 12, it says now, Be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind, so that you may do that which is what? Are you here? God is expecting you to do something. God is expecting you to do what? To do something. Hallelujah, somebody. Amen. And be not conformed, that's number two. And be not conformed to this world. Do not look like this world. Do not look like the people of this world. Even though you are in the world, you are not of the world. You are the light of the world. You are the salt of the world. You are adding value in this life. Without you, there is no life here on earth. The world is kept because of you. And be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind so that you may prove that which is good and acceptable and perfect will of God. That is exactly what God wants you to do. So that you may be able to exemplify the will of God by what you say and by what you do. Oh, yes. Say, I receive. I receive it. I receive. So tonight, 
I am here to tell you, it doesn't matter what the devil says through any human vessel. It doesn't matter the charms that they buried in the ground against your life. It doesn't matter the enchantment they made in evil altars. Tonight, I decree every single thing that your enemy did against you. They are going back to the to the sender in the name of Jesus. Back to sender. They are going back to the sender in the name of Jesus. Back to sender. No weapon form or fashion against you shall prosper. You are moving forward, child of God. You are making it in the name of Jesus. You will not be defeated. You are more than a conqueror. You can do all things. Through yes. Christ that is sentenced you. Greater is he that is in you than the one that is in the world. No sickness has got power to kill you. No accident has got power to kill you. No witchcraft has got power to kill you. You are unkillable. You are having eternal life that cannot be taken by anybody. No witch doctor can take your life. I decree no sickness can take your life. No medical report will will suffice your life. I decree the report of God over your life in the mighty name of Jesus. I proclaim the report of the Lord that says you are healed, that says you are delivered, that says you are going to live long here on earth in the name of Jesus. I, take I see you shining and shining all oh, the days of your life. I prophesy, you are the Moses of your family. Oh, yes, I you are the Moses of your family. Oh, yes. Shout, I receive, I receive, I receive. I say, you are the Moses of your family. Oh, yes, my In the mighty name of Jesus. Say, Lord, speak to me tonight. Oh, Lord, speak to me tonight. Say, oh, Lord, speak to me tonight. Oh, Lord, speak to me tonight. And I shall hear. Only one word, Only one and my word. life shall change. And my life shall change. Say amen. Amen. So tonight, I want to speak very briefly to you. Something that God has put in my heart. We wrestle not against the flesh, but against principalities, against powers, against rulers in the evil world. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. And, and I, I want you to know that you have overcome the world. I, I want you to walk when you're walking in the road, yes. when you are driving in your car, when, when you're sitting in your office. I want you to know that you are a world overcomer. Oh, yes. I Hallelujah, somebody. Amen. Say, I have overcome the world. I have overcome the world. The Bible says, little children. Mm. Are you here? Yes, ye little children, yes. you have overcome them yes. because greater is he oh, yes. that is in you oh, yes. than the one that is in the world. Oh, yes. Greater is he that is in you. Oh, yes. And Jesus speaking in the book of uh, John, chapter 16, and verse number uh, 13. John 16, 13. How be it when he, the spirit of truth, is, is come, he will guide you into all truth. He will guide you into all truth. Mm-hmm. God is going to guide you yes. to a place where you're going to meet your destiny helpers. I receive. God is going to guide you to a place where you're going to encounter your blessings. I receive. He spoke to Abraham and says, Leave your father's land yes. and go to the land that I will tell you, oh, yes. that I will show you. Yes. And I will bless you there. Yes. So there are places that are holding your blessing that God has already proclaimed over your life. Oh, help us, God. I tell you this year, God is going to guide you into a place where your blessing is waiting for you. I take it. May you receive your blessing in the name of Jesus. I receive, I receive. May you receive your blessing in the name of Jesus. I receive, I receive. May you receive your blessing in the name of Jesus. I receive, I receive. The Bible says he knows you by your name. He called you by your name. He is your heavenly father. And he dispatches his blessing to his children. Amen. If you know you are a child of God, you have got a big portion of your blessing waiting for you to manifest in your life. Say, I take it, I take it, I take it. I take it, I take it, I take it. That which you are not able to do, 
for the last three years. Yes. We shall do it in this year, 2023. I say we shall do it in this year, 2023. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. So tonight, I want to put a seed in your heart. Yes. And it's a very important information that I want to share with you tonight. As we embark into prayer. Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. I say hallelujah. Amen. I said on Sunday and I talked about what is happening in the body of Christ. God did not save you so that you can go and judge others. God has not given you the grace so that you can go and judge others. God does not want you to pray against other believers. The success of one is the success of all. Yes. We are all the members of the same body of Christ. Yes. Jesus prayed for our unity. If you go to the book of John chapter 17, the whole of it is a prayer of Jesus. He was praying for the church. And he says, I do not pray that you take them out of this world. But I pray that let them be one just as I and you are one. Amen. And he knows the oneness of God is that is the power behind Jesus, the ministry of Jesus. Amen. And he wants us to operate in the same power of oneness because there is power in unity. Amen. There is power in unity. Amen. If we can come together and forget about our differences and forget about our origins and forget about our tribes and forget about our nationalities and forget about our castes and embrace what is making us to you to you to unite it and to desist from what is dividing us. We are the most powerful force that, that can be reckoned in this world. Amen. Say I'm the most powerful force. I'm the most powerful force. Say I'm the most powerful force. I'm the most powerful force. Now what God want me to tell you tonight? Our basic teaching that Jesus has been teaching us all along. Yes, we are people. God is, let me now put it now in words that you can be able to understand. Are you here? Yes. And this one is an instruction. This one is an instruction. Are you ready? Yes, Daddy. This one is an instruction. I have been taking time to pray, and God has been speaking to me, and God has been showing me things. And it is it is uh, it is it is uh, it's upon me uh, to be able to share with you what God is always sharing with me. Yes. Because it's not about me. It's about every single one of you. It's about every single one of you. Amen. And number one. Number one. Say number one. Number one. And I'll give an example. And I'll, I'm not interested in mentioning the names of people here. I'll give you an example. I have had, for example, uh, in some places, uh, when someone is sick and they happen to be taken to the ICU, the people who are of that family or the friends, they begin to accept in their heart that, oh, this is a, this is a gone case. This person, I don't think, you know, it's like, it's like he's half dead. It's like he's on the way to the grave. The question I'm asking who told you? Who told you? Who are you listening to? Which voice are you listening to? That language must stop with immediate effect. I told you of, uh, of course, there are so many cases, but this case is always coming to me when I'm talking about this. There's a person that God told me I should go and pray to receive Jesus. And the person was in the ICU. The person was not able to open the eyes. The person was not able to eat. The person was not able to speak. Was in the ICU. And you know of that testimony. I went and I, and I prayed for that person to receive Jesus. And God told me, don't worry about the voice. Whatever you're going to speak in his ears, he will repeat that prayer. He will repeat that prayer after me. That's when that verse made a lot of sense to me. With their heart. Man believes unto righteousness. And with the mouth, confession is made 
and to salvation. Follow me, somebody. With the heart, man believes unto righteousness. That is step number one. And then with the mouth, confession is made unto salvation. Meaning, as I was speaking to his ears, I told him, repeat this prayer after me. Say, Lord Jesus. There was silence in the, in, in the, the, the machines were beeping. Are you here? And as he repeated the prayer in the heart, the following day, I received a call. And I also told, man of God, you know what? I said, well, tell me. The man that you prayed for that was in the ICU as we speak right now, he is at home. Amen. The following day. Amen. Don't tell me what God cannot do. I'm talking about the following. The people come from the ICU, they go to another, I don't know, to a ward for some time and then they go for general. No. From ICU home directly. What does it mean? I repeat again. With the heart. Man believes unto righteousness. And God was faithful enough to allow the man to come out of the ICU to confess with his mouth. To complete the entire scripture. Amen. It started with the heart. Oh, yes. Meaning the man who was not able to speak with his own mouth. He was not able to see or to read the Bible or anything. Or even to eat. He was covered with machines everywhere. Mm. And after that prayer, God lifted him up of that bed. Amen. Jesus. And he went home directly. Amen. And he had, he had to confess. Thank you, Jesus. So it begins from the heart. Oh, yeah. What you see out there is a function of what starts in the heart. And, and I say the word heart is synonymous to spirit when you come to the Bible. Mm. You are a spirit, you, you possess the soul, and you live in the physical body. And, and I tell people, before you even involve in an accident, the accident normally happens in the spiritual realm. I am telling you. Number two, accidents don't happen. Accidents are caused to happen. In the spirit, there's nothing like accident. Are, Are you hearing me? Yeah. They say mechanical, mechanical uh, uh, human uh, error. That is nothing. That is nothing. The, the same road, the same, same road that is claiming the lives of people. people. You have been on the same road, road. Yes. But, but your life has been preserved. Child, Child of God, do, do not believe in accident. accident. Believe in God. Amen. Do not believe in accident. Amen. Believe in God. Do not, Do not expect accident. Yes. Do not expect to die before your time. Yes. In Jesus' name. God says, with long life shall I satisfy you. Yes. And I will show you my goodness. Oh, yes. God did not bring you on earth to kill you. God did not send his son, Jesus, to come and die on the cross so that you may die. No. Say, I will not die. I will not die. I will live. I will live. Say, I shall not die. I shall not die. But I shall live. But I shall live. To declare. To declare. The oracles of the Lord. The oracles of the Lord. In the land of the living. In the land of the living. So from today, I want to confirm to you that nobody is dying here. Yes, I receive. Death is far away from you. I receive. I repeat, death is far away from you. I receive. Now, this is what the Lord told me. He told me, and I saw people. That's why I'm not interested in mentioning the names. He said, now, people are doing a mistake. And I'm going to use an example here. A live example. Yes, Daddy. You cannot pray for your sister. And then at any particular meeting, somewhere else, you hear of what your sister has done, and you begin to speak bad about whatever you have had. Whatever, Whatever you say in that particular, particular meeting by, by the message, message you received, cancel the prayer you prayed for your sister. Oh, Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. I am teaching you prayer. Yes. Prayer does not begin by you coming to church 
and, and, and to, to begin, begin opening open your, your mouth and to pray. pray. Prayer begins from the heart. Mm. Are, Are you hearing me, somebody? Yes. Prayer begins from the heart. I told you, prayer is a spiritual activity, it's not a, a physical activity. Yes. Are you here? Yes, Daddy. Before your body, before you receive your physical body, God formed or created a spirit you. Yes. Everything that is happening on earth has to happen in the spirit. Yes. Are you here? Yes, Daddy. So everything they from the earth, they happen in the spiritual realm. Hello? Hello, Daddy. Are you following me? Following. So, for example, you are praying, I want my sister to be delivered from the spirit of alcohol. And for some reasons, you two days or one week later, you receive a call that your sister did this and that. And then you make a comment. And I told you, the problem is not what you hear. You can hear anything. In this world, you hear anything. The problem becomes what you speak after you have heard. Are you following me? Yes, daddy. And every single word you speak is an object. Every word you speak is recorded. Hello? Hello, daddy. Hello? Teachers, daddy. And these things that you speak in those meetings, on, the, on those chats, text messages, are the very same things that are weakening now your prayer life. So, so you are fighting against, against yourself. Oh God. The, the devil has already recruited you to speak. The Bible says, says thou shall make a decree. Mm. You do it with your mouth. You shall make a decree and it shall be established. Oh, yes. so, so what do you think when you're talking negative, negative about yourself? You, you, may, you may not mean it, but, but as, as long, long as you speak, speak it, mm. that's it. Oh Jesus. That's, that's why we are told in the book of Joshua, chapter 1, verse 8, this book of the law shall not depart out of your mouth. The moment this book departs, then you, something else comes in. This book of the law shall not depart out of your mouth, but thou shalt meditate therein day and night, so that you may observe to do according to all that is written therein. So shall you, not God, so shall you, the power be given to you, so shall you make your ways prosperous and even have good success. Jesus. And he says in Luke 15 21, I will give you a mouth and wisdom that even your adversary cannot gainsay or resist. Jesus. So, what do you think will happen when you speak bad about your brother or your sister? What do you think will happen when you speak bad about your husband or your wife? Jesus. What do you think will happen when you speak bad about your own children? Mm. Oh, these children are a headache. I am telling you, you have already baptized the spirit of headache on you. <laughs> the headache that will be on you, nobody will deliver you. Jesus. Children are an heritage mm. from the Lord. Oh, yes. The fruit of the womb is his reward. Oh, yes. They cannot be headache. Mm. The problem is not your children. The problem is with you. Mm. You are a caretaker. God gave you children to take care of them. Amen. It is a reward from the Lord. Oh, yes. And whatever word you speak over your children will come to us. Jesus. So, people have been buried alive. I, I give an example of a place where they, when, when someone goes there, you know, I, I see you, they don't even visit, they are just waiting for, for the news, you know, yeah, yeah it's gone. Mm. No, you have killed, you have, you have buried people who are alive. Mm. You have given up on people that were still alive. Jesus. That's, That's why, why when he began by this prayer, I said, let us pray the prayer of repentance. By your words, you shall be justified. Mm. And also by your words, Thou shalt be condemned. Mm. Mm. Are, Are you hearing, hearing me? Hearing your dead. 
we are told if you shall say not if you shall pray if you shall say to this mountain we don't pray for the mountain to be moved we speak to the mountain oh yes that means there is power in your tongue amen are you hearing me yes so your wife or your husband or your, your child your sister your brother whoever it is might be doing something that is you know very they say it is driving you crazy are you hearing me yes even as you feel the pain of it even as you feel discouraged and disappointed guard your heart the bible says guard your heart with all due diligence because out of it are the issues of life Jesus. And his life and death is in the power of your tongue. Mm. Hello? Amen. Amen. Never, Never say, ah, me, I don't, I don't think, think I. I, I no, 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 no. It's not about what you think. think. Are you here? Yes. You, you have, have now the mind, mind of Christ. Say, I have the mind of Christ. I have the mind of Christ. This journey of salvation, you need to be. Less of you are more of him. Amen. I receive. You, you tell God, if I have to go through this, I am ready to go through this. Because I know you are with me. Mm. I will not change my confession. Oh, yeah. The wife of Job told Job, Job, why don't you just cast God and die? I said, no, 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 I cannot do that. I can't. Yes, I am in this situation. But I am very sure God has not left me. Mm. Amen. Tribulations of this world should not interpret you that God has left you. God has not left you. He Amen. says, I will never leave you. I will never forsake you. Oh, and that word, he says, it is forever established in heaven. Amen. Nobody can change it. The Bible can never be amended. Amen. So you stick to the word. You speak the word. You believe in the word. You do the word. When you hear, oh, your sister, can you imagine? We found, we found your sister. She was, she, she was, she was in the, you know, in the dustbin, very drunkard. Say no, she's not drunkard. Amen. My sister is full of the Holy Spirit. Amen. My sister has been called by the Lord. The love of God is stronger in the life of my sister. Amen. What, what you are seeing is a lie. Mm. Because, because I'm not seeing what you are seeing. What I'm seeing, I'm seeing somebody who has a lot of sanity in him. Amen. I see someone who is stronger, wealthier, stronger. Are you here? Yes, Don't say, oh, my sister is, 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 is no, 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 no. Are you hearing me? Yes. So your confessions must marry with what you believe. And then you shall see it. Whatever you say all the time, you are permitted to see it. People always talk about problem, problem, problem. They are, they are seeing problem. Problem is around them. They smell problem. Because they keep on talking about the problem. The same continent of Africa will say, oh, we are poor. Who's, there are some rich people in this country. So I am one of them. Yes, I'm one of them. I'm one of them. You don't have to have money in your bank account for you to say you have got money. This is about perception. And don't allow the reality of this world to dictate your perception. Allow the word of God to dictate your perception. Amen. Hello. Hello, Daddy. Not all the time. I don't have money. I don't have money. I don't have money. I don't have money. There's no 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 money. So what are you doing? And, and then you say, pray, pray for me. Ah, no, I can't, I can't pray for you. Mm -hmm. Are you hearing me? Yes. You, you tell me, man of God, I have got a lot. I have a lot. Oh, yes. For heaven's sake, before, before, before you had those children, did you know that you're going to have children? No. Hello? Hello. Every, every single thing, thing you have, every single thing, beginning with your life, mm. you never had it in the first place, but God gave you. Yes. You, you never prayed to God, oh God, get me. No, He created you. He did it. Yes. And He put you here on earth. Mm -hmm. 
and he has planned for you. Amen. Are you hearing me? Yes, Dad. Tell your neighbor, change your language. Change your language, neighbor. Change your language. Neighbor, change your language. So whatsoever you say matters a lot. The confessions of your mouth will either validate your prayer or invalidate your prayer and your faith altogether. Faith is not a feeling. We are told faith cometh by hearing and hearing by the word of God. Yes. And once you have heard that you are told, don't only be hearers, but doers. How can you do the word that you are not even meditating upon? That's why I was explaining in Joshua 1 age. You cannot obey the word that you are not meditating upon. That's why even though you read the word, even though you hear the word in the church, but because your mouth is full of something else, you end up doing those, those things that you speak. You, you one day, one day, one day, day, one day I, will, I, will, I will strangle you. And you end up strangling somebody because you've been speaking all the time. Mm. You've never prayed that, oh, in the name of Jesus, Jesus. one day I will strangle that boy. You don't pray like that. Mm. You, you pray differently. But when it comes to confessions, prayer does not start and end when you come to church. Prayer is a lifestyle. Prayer is a lifestyle. Exodus chapter 9 verse 1. God told I mean, uh, Moses, go and tell Pharaoh let my people go so that they may serve me. So to pray is to serve God. Amen. And prayer is not just uttering words. We are told the spirit also Make an intercession with groanings that cannot be uttered. There is no language that can translate that kind of prayer. There is no human language that can translate the prayer the Holy Spirit is praying for you. Amen. You reach a level whereby you are praying. Now the words are not coming out. But you are praying. It is called prayer. Yes. I receive it. Hallelujah, somebody. Amen. Hallelujah, somebody. Amen. Question. When God visited Solomon in the dream, it was a dream. But prayer was made. Yes. Solomon prayed in the dream. And God answered him in the dream. Uh, His body was sleeping. He was sleeping. Yes. But prayer was continuing. Same way, you can be sleeping. Some people, they dream that they are eating food. And that is exactly what is happening. What they have been doing when they were awake, now they are starting to do it now when they are sleeping. And I said, you are not supposed to be eating in the dream. Eating is not permitted in the dream. The only thing is permitted in the dream is prayer. In real life, you can be, you can be chased by dogs. You can be chased by an animal. And even in your dream, you can be chased by the same animals. So you are not more than a conqueror when you are awake. You must be more than a conqueror even when you are sleeping. You must not be more than a conqueror just in the flesh when you are awake. Even when you are sleeping. Even when you are in your dreams. The devil must know, no, this one is still more than a conqueror. This one is still powerful. This one is still dangerous. So you don't bask in prayer during the day and at night you are being submerged by the demons. That's an error. And that happens because there is a collision between what you say, what you do, and what you pray. So your prayer must marry your actions, and your action must marry what you speak on a daily basis. 
the ingredient that forms your inner convictions. I said, both people who believe in God and those who don't believe in God, all of them, they believe they have got faith. The difference is that they have got faith in different things. So people have got faith in, in animals. I others faith in, in, in some, some clouds. There is no human being who has got no enemy of faith. They have got faith. But the all have faith in God. The Bible says have faith in God, not in yourself. Have faith in God. You already have faith, but the faith must be directed to the right person. That is God. When your faith is in God, you will listen to him. Even when someone is hurting you, even when someone speaks something that hurts you, you will not respond the same way because you are not in the same level with that person. You will not answer back the same way because you are not in the same level. What is powering your engine is different from what is powering their engine. The one that is in you is different from the one that is in that person. There must be a difference. That is when your light must shine. We are told, let your light shine so that men may see your good works and glorify your Father which is in heaven. Matthew chapter 5 and beginning from verse number 14 going down there. Say, let you are the light of the world. You are the light of the world. Let your light so shine before men. You are not the light of heaven. You are the light of the world. And to shine is to do something by what you do and what you say. Determines whether you are shining or not. Your actions, your actions, which are a culmination of your inner convictions and your continued professions, or confessions is what brings about either darkness or light in you. The Bible says, if your eyes be single, your whole body is full of light. If your eyes be single, talking about focus, looking unto Jesus, the author and the finisher of our faith, It begins with him. It ends with him. Nothing comes in between. And you reach a place where you say, now I have the mind of Christ. You don't reason the way you used to reason before. You don't reason like the people in the village. You don't reason like people who are drinking alcohol in the, in the pubs. You don't talk like them. You don't dress like them. The way you dress, the places you go, the people you talk to, the kind of food you eat, everything constitutes what I'm talking about here. You cannot be speaking one thing and be doing another thing and expecting something else. Those are behaviors of witches. That is like magic you are expecting. There is no magic in the kingdom. We are told, take heed what you hear. Be very careful about what, what you hear on a daily basis because whatever you hear forms the basis of whatever you speak. And whatever you speak forms the basis of your own behavior. Your behavior is born out of what you have had for a long time and what you have been hearing for a long time has conditioned a pattern of your thinking. You are, you are, your thinking pattern is, has been structured by what you have been hearing for a long time. And that pattern forms the basis of your behavior. It can be able to detect how or what you speak when something happens. People can even tell if you do this to this or this person, you will just say this. They know. It's already registered in your, in, your, in your system. You must be unpredictable. Whereby someone says something and they expect you to say something bad in return and you say it is well. They say, ah, no, I didn't expect you to say that. You, you begin to, to become unpredictable. And, and when you become unpredictable, it is very difficult for the devil to deal with you. So what the devil does, that's why you are told in the book of Romans, 
and be not conformed to this world. Don't look at the people. Do not ever imitate. Don't, don't. But be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind. Your mind has been conditioned by what you have seen, by what you have had for a long time. And it is affecting your, 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 your belief system. It becomes impossible such that even when I tell you, God is making you a millionaire. The first thing is to think, where will the money come from? Will you, I, 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 I stopped at phone 4. Because you have been conditioned by your environment. You have been conditioned by what you have been hearing from your immediate environment and far. And it has formed a pattern which has formulated a behavior that is predictable. Even the devil knows if he presses this button, you will speak this. So you can pray the way you want to pray. After prayer, is, he will wait for you to finish prayer. He won't stop you from praying. He said, pray. But I know where I, can, I know where to press. After you pray and all that, he just come, he comes and presses the button like this. And because it's a program in your system for a long time, it can predict what will happen. We are told Jesus himself, being full of the Holy Spirit, was led into the wilderness to pray, to pray and fast for 40 days. Many years ago, I used to think that when you fast and pray, the devil runs away from you. No. When you fast and pray, actually you are becoming, you know, you are attracting demons and the devil himself. Because you carry power. The devil does not bother himself with people who don't have any power. When you fast, and pray. Prepare yourself to have a showdown with the devil. The devil never appeared on day one when Jesus was passing. No, he knew actually he was going to fast for 40 days, so he, he, he waited until he finished. He, and he didn't even break the fast. He was now living. He was very weak physically. He was very angry. He wanted to eat something. But before, before anything happened, the devil appeared into the scene. The power that you receive at the prayer altar, the power that you receive when you are fasting, will be put to trial after you are done. The devil will come in the form of your husband or your wife. It can use anyone who is available to be used by the devil. That's why do not just only pray for yourself. And speak bad about your husband or your wife or your child. As you pray for yourself, as you fast, speak good about your children, your husband. The same husband who is cursing you, speak good about him. He will tell you, Hey, you are going, you woman, you are going nowhere. Say, I'm seeing a servant of God in you, I'm seeing a mighty man. You are a glorious person. The love of God is overwhelming you. You are blessed. Are you hearing me? But when he says, You are going nowhere. And you say, Ah, nowhere. You also, your mother and your father and your brothers are going nowhere. You are being recruited. You are in the same WhatsApp group. He knows the devil knows where to praise. Are you here? Yes. You must never become predictable. Beginning from the night. You must become unique. When they expect you to answer, that's when now you are quiet. You don't even talk about anything. When they expect you to be quiet, that's when now you speak. Are you hearing me, somebody? Are you hearing me, somebody? The Holy Spirit is reminding me. One day I went for a, for, for a certain test, medical test, and the doctor was a Muslim. After the test, the man told me, I have never seen a perfect heart of a human being. I only saw it while I was in school, but all the clients I've ever had, all the patients who normally come here, I give them bad reports. 
but, but this, this one I, I, I am encouraged and, and I begin to encourage him I say don't give up do not give up keep, keep on doing what you're doing keep on doing what you're doing I became an encouragement Amen. and I said I want to, uh, uh, this is my number this is my personal number and please uh, when you go back I want us to keep on just tell me how you're doing I said no problem I will I'll update you Amen. I connect. are you hearing somebody Yes, Are you hearing somebody? We are hearing. A no is not a no if God hasn't said no. Oh, yes. I repeat, a no from any voice out there is not a no if God has not said no. Amen. If you have access to the voice of God, you will know this one. No, this one is a lie. They say no. I am hearing yes. I am hearing yes, and you stick with yes. They say, oh, it's difficult to go to that country because of the visa. Say, no, 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 no. I am, I'm seeing visa granted, visa granted, visa granted. Amen. Are you hearing me, somebody? Yes, sir. Whatever you do every single day, whatever you say, contributes to your so-called prayer life. Amen. Contributes to your journey of faith. When, when I was growing up, we used to see people, people they say, hey, let, let, me, let, let me put my Jesus down and I will deal with you after I'm done and I will, I will put Jesus back. You know, I'm, I'm born again. Don't, don't take advantage of uh, You know I'm born again. No, you cannot. Jesus is not the cloth. Hello? If anyone wants to follow me, number one, he must deny himself. You know it is your right to respond back. You know it's the right to punch that person back. But you deny yourself. It is painful. But it pays. Hello? And you tell God, remember what I said in that prayer? Less of me and more of you. I am feeling my body the way I'm even shaking. My God, I pray less of me and more of you. So the problem is not the person who actually who said bad things about you. The problem is what you do after that. You may receive a message. Your mother is sick. Very sick in the village. I can tell you for sure right now. The problem is that it's not that message. The problem is what you do. What you say. The comment. After you receive that message. In this world. Ye shall have tribulation, but be of good cheer, because I have overcome the world. There is no temptation. First Corinthians ten thirteen. There is no; it does not exist. There is no common end to men, but God is faithful. Who will not suffer you, allow you to handle something that you cannot bear, but we, with the same temptation, God is going to use the same temptation. Are you here? We say, Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be the name. Your kingdom come. Your will be done here on earth as it is in heaven. Don't lead us into. But deliver us from evil. evil. Don't lead us into temptations. There's a difference between to be led into temptation. As a matter of fact, the meaning of that prayer in that part is to fall. Is to fall. What you're, what you're supposed to pray against is to fall into temptation. We are told pray that you may not fall into temptation. Not pray so that you may not go through the temptation. Temptation will come. And you are supposed to go through temptation. Hello? I'm repeating. Temptations will come. And God has designed you to pass, to go through. And come out on the other side. You only receive a word after winning a battle. 
you change runs in the spirit after conquering strongholds. Don't run away from strongholds. Conquer them. And you will be elevated to another position. And your spiritual elevation will reflect in your physical elevation. Some of the struggling you are going through is because you are struggling in the spirit. It begins in the spirit. And it begins to eat up on you on other areas of your life. So if you must succeed, success begins in the spiritual dimension. No eye has seen. No ear has heard. Neither has it entered into the heart of man. That which God has prepared for them that love him. And it says, if you love me, you will obey my commandments. You will not respond to messages. You will obey my commandments. You are not an answering machine. You, shall, you must obey the commandment of God. Are you hearing me, somebody? We are in a, in a day of prayer. Our intensive prayer unit service. And that's why I'm dwelling so much on that topic of prayer. Prayer is not what you do when you come here. Prayer is a lifestyle. Prayer is not a physical activity. Prayer is a spiritual activity. Your behaviors, they come from the inside. Your conviction and your faith is in the inside. What you see outside is a culmination of what is already in the inside. You shall know them by their fruits. Fruits come from the inside. Fruits are not functions of external forces, no. Fruits are a function of internal affair. What happens in the inside of you is what will come out. Are you here? And we are told to take care of our hearts. Are you hearing me, somebody? Yes. Are you hearing me, somebody? Yes. And I'm repeating what I quote: for, for the weapon of our warfare are not carnal. For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal. But they are mighty through God. To the pulling down of strongholds. You don't pull down strongholds by, by, by speaking empty words. That you had from YouTube. No. You speak from the power that resides in you, that is you know, fed by the inner convictions. You cannot be told otherwise. Even if they told you you have got cancer stage four, you don't see it, you don't feel it. You say, My body, hear he the word of the Lord. By his stripes I was healed. I am not sick. I am healthy. Who will kill you for speaking like that? Are you here? And you are permitted to speak like that. Even if you are, you are in the hospital itself. Are you hearing me somebody? The fact that you are in the hospital that, that, that does not mean that that word. No, you should speak it. Okay, these are the medications you are going to use Take this one three times, whatever. And it says, I am not sick. I am healed. By his stripes, I am healed. Rado Baso Kadoshe. In Kadozi Arabase Kadoza. That is my identity in Christ Jesus. You don't see yourself sick. You don't dream that you are sick. No. Hallelujah. Say, I'm stronger. Say, I'm healthy. Say, I am wealthy. Say, I am rich. Say, I have overcome the world. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Say, everyone connected to me. They are blessed. Now listen. The Bible says, 
God told Abraham, I will bless you and I will make you to become a blessing. That's an unnatural of blessing. I'm not talking about the one who says, oh, God has blessed me. Hallelujah. God bless me. No, that's, that's a small one. I want you to be blessed until you become a blessing. When you receive a text message, please, we, are, we want school fees. Don't say, ah, do I have a, a, a tree in my, in my house where I have a black money? Don't say like that. That is a sign that you are the Moses of the family. They see you, they see money. Say, thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. I say, hallelujah. I say, hallelujah. You don't give because you have you give because you want it. Giving is a function of their heart. It's not a physical thing that they do. Whatever you do is just confirming whatever has already happened in your heart. If it's not in your heart, it can never be in your hands. Solomon said, and he was telling the Lord, it was in my father's heart to build a temple. And since it was in his father's heart, God told him, okay, that's correct. That's very correct. So you will build a temple on behalf and in the honor of your father. So make sure that you have it in your heart first. Oh man of God, if I want to pray for me, if I if I get one million, no, I want to support the ministry. No, you don't need one million. You need the heart to give. Father, give me the heart to give. The moment you have the heart to give, God will give you the seed. He gave us seed to the sower and bread to the eater. It must be in your heart. Are you hearing somebody? As long as it is in your the moment it's coming in your hand, you don't you don't calculate it. You know that people when they receive money, they start, oh my god, oh my god. And they say, I'm telling you, people who don't give, the moment they get a jackpot, the devil who's their financial manager comes. I said, <laughs> I'm here. Eh, you need wisdom. Now you get away from the world. There's no wisdom in that. You don't require wisdom to give. You require the heart to give. There was no wisdom in Jesus. He said, that For God so loved the world. Full stop. God is full of wisdom. But you're told, We're not told, For God had you so much wisdom that He said, No, for God so loved the world. It is out of the love that you give. Are you here, somebody? Yes. And I'm telling all of you who are also giving, give out of the love. I repeat, give out of what? Of the love of God in your heart. Don't say, I wish, I wish, I wish, I wish, I wish for the, that's the language of other people. Are you here? The only I wish I had in the Bible is I wish above all things that you may prosper and be healthy even as a soul prospereth. How many of you want to start with this? Your hand must be, even before I finish, your hand must be. How much do you want? Man of God, I want to give 10 million. You don't, you, listen to me. I'm telling you. Next Sunday, how many in your hand? I am here, man of God. How 10 million is what I want to give. You don't give, you don't look at it, you don't check your bank account to determine how much you want to give. It is the desire. I will fulfill the desire. Not, not, not the, 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 the figures in the bank. I will fulfill what? The desire of what? Of your heart. I am telling you. And lo and behold, I'm telling you, before you know it, not even 10 million, more than that, it will not be difficult once the money comes in for you to give that 10 million. I am telling you. I am telling me, hey, shall I receive, 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 receive? Don't fear to mention figures or money. Why are you getting? Quote any amount you want. It's free. Nobody will beat you. Are you hearing somebody? Are you hearing me, somebody? What am I saying? Your confessions, your daily words must correspond with what you claim to be believing. 
Don't tell us according to what you understand. No. Trust in the Lord with all of your heart. Lean not unto your own understanding, but in all your ways acknowledge God, and He will direct your path. So I receive. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not. He leadeth me beside cool waters into green pastures. Are you hearing me, somebody? Say, the Lord is my shepherd. So you are secure and protected in the name of Jesus. No, nothing bad will happen to your family. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Let me say this as I finish. In my journey, many years ago, when I began to practice whatever I'm telling you today, automatically, there are people who are removed out of my space. Are you hearing me? There are people I'm telling you up now, they were removed out of my space. And one thing happened, and I spoke about it. One thing happened one day. I was holding my, I was holding my phone. Around nine there, at night, the angel of the Lord appeared and took my phone and deleted the number of the people in the phone. Are you here? Yes. I was fasting for eight months. Are you here? Yes. No news. I don't want to hear news or whatever. No. Eight months fasting, fasting. Are you hearing me? Yes. I don't want to hear all the, the president. I don't want to hear anything. I want to hear God. And like I can tell you, the more you hear God, the more he will turn you to become into another man. Shall I receive? God will make you to become the light of your world. God will make you to become a savior of your own family. Because you don't speak like them. Right now, we are praying. They are sleeping, no problem. But in our prayer, we are also praying for them. So we are not here to pray for ourselves. We are here to pray for others. Are you hearing somebody? And I'm reminding you what the Holy Spirit told me. Don't allow 2023 to end without having at least seven people who will be born again through you. Amen. And in your prayer, tell God, give me souls. And I have already released the grace of, 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 of evangelism. That grace is activated by you doing it. You don't receive the grace and you sit down with it. The grace is to enable you to do something that you are not able to do by yourself. It is activated by doing. Not only once, not twice. Doing over and over again. So begin removing some vocabularies out of your speech. Edit your speech from tonight. Introduce new vocabularies in your speech. Believe in whatever you say. And do exactly what you say. Strive to do it. Start from your smallest beginning. Don't wait until it is big. He that is faithful with least, much shall be entrusted upon him. If you can be faithful with a little, go with the trust you with much. And it's something that you have to do over and over again. So a take home tonight, never speak negative of what you are praying for. Never speak even if it is the truth out there. Don't join others to sing the same chorus. Be the old one out. When the disciples were sleeping heavy in sleep at the prayer mountain, Jesus was having a different experience. He was different from them. All of them, it was the night for all of them. But they were going through different experiences. From tonight, I pray for you in the name of Jesus. 
you shall be different you shall be different you shall be different you shall be different everything about you is changing tonight everything about you is changing tonight in the mighty name of jesus what was trying to bury you after this prayer in the name of jesus i see the same thing running away from you in the mighty name of jesus what was fighting your brothers and sisters you are coming to rescue your own brothers and sisters after this prayer in the mighty name of jesus in the mighty name of jesus in the mighty name of jesus you will not succumb to any sickness and disease you shall make it in the name of jesus i cast out that sickness from your body i destroy every virus in your system i destroy every power of witchcraft in your life i destroy every evil word spoken against you at that evil altar i destroy whatever they discuss in that boardroom against you and i turn them back to sender in the name of jesus i say back to sender in the name of jesus back to sender in the name of jesus whatever you are if you believe whatever i'm saying stand up on the feet and begin to pray that prayer whatever they spoke in that boardroom that is against me back to sender in the name of jesus back to sender in the name of jesus i don't accept anything that lays of god in my life rado bese ketelisa i expect what is best for me that god has spoken about me that is what i'm expecting anything that is short of god's word i don't accept it i don't accept it i reject it tonight i reject it any report that speak negative of my health i reject tonight in the name of jesus pray that prayer wherever you are begin to pray wherever you are right now in the name of jesus Rabo peke teriza zeke te bradosi la so pradosi kalabasi reko bazo teriza rebo zo katara bashe ke teriza intra zo pradosi raka sata labasi teriza rebo zo se terima so kalabashi la pradosi teriza raba i reject every evil report i reject every evil report that is not of god in my life i reject in the name of jesus at this prayer altar i cancel every negative prophecy that they spoke against me in those evil altars i cancel them right now i cancel them right now i am not a reject material i am a favor i am my name is favor i am accepted in the name of jesus i am not a reject material pray that prayer pray that prayer rado be se parise anda se pradoshe Raka sakata raba so parise ila ba so pradoshi enda so pradoshi ke teresa raise your voice to what heaven raise your voice to what heaven god is receiving your prayer god is receiving your prayer zinda raba se katarise rako se hariba she enda sa pradoshi e koroso parise la zo pe ke terima so rika sata raba se ke e karaba se terima raba se karise Reko so pradoshe ke terise reno sakaraba sete oh god whatever i spoke against myself i reverse those words whatever i say against my destiny i reverse those words whatever i say against my people i reverse those words whatever i even spoke against my own people my own children my own my own my own i reverse those words oh lord i speak favor upon my children I speak favor and abundance Rako Peteliza begin to speak begin to speak begin to speak begin to speak Zeto Keteliza Sheketeliza Razo Ketebazo Pradosi Riko Sopari Karaba Setelia La Zeketerima Sopradoshe in the Sakariza ba pray 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 I cannot hear you pray 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 God is doing something God is doing something Something is happening 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 la secretarisha e pradosa tolise rada farika adradose e pradoshe ke rima se kalabasi e drobaso parise rato pe ke tolise raka za tolise indaraba se pradoshe rato se pradoshe ke tolise Begin to pray begin to pray begin to pray begin to pray don't be tired don't be tired 
Don't be tired. Don't be tired. It is happening. It is happening. It is happening. It shall be called the house of prayer. Your body is the temple of the Holy Spirit. Pour your prayer now. Pour your prayer. Pour your prayer right now. Rego sopra doze. Leke terima sopra doze. La zeke terisa doleza. Inca pradose caresha doleza. La zoka reza. You are an agent of life. You are an agent of life. You shall ooze life whatever you shall be. Whatsoever you shall lay your hands to do shall receive life. Maka pradose. Reke teliza parise. Edra sopra doze ke teliza. Razo periza. Abradose, Raka Satarava Sheketelize, La Bradose, Enda Sekaraba Sheketelize, Reko Toriza, Reko Sotoriza, pray against the spirit of death, pray against the spirit of death and all their accomplices. You spirit of death, I rebuke you out in the name of Jesus. You spirit of accident, I rebuke you out in the name of Jesus. Raso Peketeliza, Rado Bazo Periza. I speak life, 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 life. Every area of my life, life in the name of Jesus. Raso Keteriza, prophesy that, prophesy that upon yourself. Prophesy that upon yourself. Zato Pederima Soteriza. Iga Zoperiza. Lensa Karaba Sheketeliza. Randa Soperisha. Reko Soperaba Sheketeliza. Reko Soperosha. Reko Soperima. E Karaba Sire. Entra zo proroshe, reka seketeri masope, ra seketeri masukeria, raka satalila reba, ikaraba so periza, entra so proroshe kariza. Father, I give you glory, I give you all the praise. Blessed be the name of the Lord. We give you glory, we give you praise, we adore you, we exalt you, we exalt you, we exalt you. We exalt you. We lift up your name. We glorify your holy name. We praise you. We worship you. We adore you. We exalt your holy name. We magnify you. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. We give you glory. I thank you because it is done. In Jesus' mighty name. I pray for you, lift up your right hand. I pray for you tonight in the name of Jesus. That which you came here with, that proved to be difficult, that proved to be impossible, that proved to be complicated, that has been hibernating in your body. I decree by fire, by thunder, it is being destroyed in the name of Jesus. What has been trying to destroy your body? I destroy here tonight. In the name of Jesus. I destroy here tonight. In the name of Jesus. The Lord told me as we are praying right now. It is reminding me of vision. That I saw. Don't underestimate your prayer that you are praying. You have been saying I am down in prayer. Keep on praying. Because I saw. Every, Every single, single time, time you pray, yes. something is hammered. Yes. Every single time you pray, something is hammered. It's being destroyed. Amen. I am telling you, don't stop praying. Boy, Keep on praying. Boy, I prophesy boy, upon you tonight. Yes. May the Lord answer your prayer in Jesus' name. I receive, I receive, I receive. May the Lord answer your prayer tonight in Jesus' name. I receive, I receive it, I receive. Something is happening. I am telling you, something is happening. Something is happening in your life. You may not see with your kind of eyes, but I'm seeing it. Something is happening. Raso kete harabase. Inkraso prado sheketeliza. The healing that you have received, you will not lose it in the name of Jesus. You will not lose it in the name of Jesus. The favor you have received, it is permanent in the name of Jesus. I see telephone calls coming from other continents of this world. You are going to receive the telephone call. Rako Peteliza. May you receive in the name of Jesus. May you receive in the name of Jesus. May you receive in the name of Jesus. Rako Zopariza Delizen. 
Amen. I see a call, a call coming, coming from, from Atlanta, Atlanta, Georgia. Oh, Atlanta, Atlanta, Georgia. Atlanta, Georgia. Atlanta, Atlanta Georgia. Atlanta, Georgia. Rako Seketoliza. Jehovah has remembered you. May you receive in the name of Jesus. May you receive in the name of Jesus. I bless you in the name of Jesus. I cover you in the blood of Jesus. No evil shall happen even in your life. No evil shall happen around you. You are a blessing from tonight. You are a blessing from tonight. Wherever you shall go, there shall be life. No more death in the name of Jesus. The spirit of death is far away from you. The spirit of death is far away from the family. No more death in the name of Jesus. I speak life in the name of Jesus. May you receive life in the name of Jesus. May you receive life in the name of Jesus. Sam Radoshe, I Karaba Pralo Kedia Rabasenda Mia, Rako Parise Karisha, Zato Perima Toli Karaba Sheketeliza, Lazo Prosa, Laroya Masen Kariba, Zeto, I pray for your prayer life. I pray for your journey of faith. You will not fail. You will not frustrate the grace of God upon you. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. No evil will touch you. No arrow will come near you. No pestilence will touch you. Together with your loved ones. Together with your children. You are covered eternally. You are protected by Jehovah. You are covered by his wings. Every evil eye. That has been looking at you for evil. I prophesy tonight. That eye is going blind in the name of Jesus. They will never see you again in the name of Jesus. They will never see you in the name of Jesus. The Egyptians that you see today. You will see them no more. I am Jehovah God. Oh, yes. Yes. I prophesy upon you. Every single day it shall be an addition. You shall mount up high like eagles. You will never go down. You shall go up. You will never be beneath. You shall be above. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Say I am above. I am not beneath. Say, I am moving forward. I am not going backward. My life is changing tonight. I shall become a blessing to my entire generation in the name of Jesus. Say, I am a blessing. Say, I am a blessing in the name of Jesus. Shout, I receive, I receive, I receive, I receive. If you have any point of contact, Whatever, Whatever you want God to do, you came here with, I want, I want you to raise it up right now. I want to pray for you. Father, I pray for every single point of contact that is reason. Whatever that your children are holding in their hands. I'm even seeing that woman carrying, touching the anointing oil. I am, I am transmitting the anointing through that oil. That document you are holding. That wallet you are holding. I am seeing you wherever you are right now. In the name of Jesus, every hand that is lifted up, I decree a blessing upon you. 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 You shall receive good report from the bank. I am seeing a good report coming from the bank. And those who are orchestrating your downfall in the same bank, they are being relieved of their, of their position. Because of you, the child of God, they are being removed out of your way. Out of your way. Out of your way. In the name of Jesus. You are, you are, your financial report is changing. Your financial report is being edited. It is changing. In the name of Jesus. Reba Sokatari Matoria. Zepraloshe. I touch, I touch that document. Yes. I touch that point of contact. Right now in the name of Jesus. I see money coming into your hands. I see money coming into your hands. Money is coming into your hands. 
in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, I thank you and I bless your name. It is done in Jesus' mighty name. Those of you who are giving or offering your tithe, whatever it is, your seed, sacrifice. I want you to lift up your sacrifice, your offering, whatever it is. I want you to raise it right now before the Lord. I want to pray for you. I want to bless you. And those who have already transferred their offering, just lift up your hands or your phone or your bank card or whatever it is that you use to transfer your funds. Make sure you raise it right now. I bless you in the name of your Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. I release the blessing of the Lord that make it rich, which added no sorrow with it. That shall become part and parcel of your life in the name of Jesus. I prophesy that the sources of your income will not run dry. I multiply the sources of your income in the mighty name of Jesus. 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 I see somebody here. Some of your destiny helpers have already landed in Botswana. They have landed in Botswana. May you locate in the name of Jesus. May you be connected in the name of Jesus. May you be connected in the name of Jesus. May you be connected in the name of Jesus. I'm seeing five people. They have jetted in Botswana as I speak right now in the name of Jesus. They are in the tour of the South African countries. May you be connected in the name of Jesus. I bless you all in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. I decree you are rich. You are blessed. You are prospered. You are wealthy. You are a king of financial. You are moving forward. Say, I am a tither. Say, I am a giver. I am a giver. I am a tither. I am a seed sower. Shout, receive, 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 receive. So shall it be, shall it be in Jesus' mighty name. It is done. Say, it is done. Say, it is done. I cannot hear you say, it is done. After this service, I want you to see what I've already said. Delete every other memories and all. Just delete them. Just see what I've told you already. Because God has already done it in your life in the name of Jesus. We have come to an end of our service tonight. And may the Lord bless you so much for coming to this service. Every single time you join in this particular service, something is added in you. You are growing in strength. Your light is illuminating much more brighter and brighter every single day. I release a blessing to every single one of you who is here. And those who are joining us online, may God bless you. May God keep you. You will see the faithfulness of God in the land of the living. I am seeing a meeting. I am seeing a meeting somewhere. Five people. I'm seeing five people. They are talking about coming up with another virus. And they say Corona was a test. This will be the mother of all viruses. In the name of Jesus. I prophesy an explosion in those laboratories. I prophesy an explosion in those laboratories. You will see on CNN an explosion has happened. Rato Parisa, you are protected, child of God. I say you are protected. Everything that they are preparing is going back to themselves and their own children. Back to Senda in the name of Jesus. Back to Senda in the name of Jesus. I say back to Senda in the name of Jesus. I pray that the Lord will give you bigger land, pieces of land. You will cultivate your own food. You will cultivate your own food. All of you are here. Anointing to acquire land. May you receive in the name of Jesus. Big parcel of land. May you receive in the name of Jesus. 
you are protected. And for any single believer who got the vaccine for COVID-19, I pray for you again. The effect of that vaccine is destroyed in the name of Jesus. Your immune system is boosted in the name of Jesus. Make sure you join me on Friday as we partake of the Holy Communion to destroy every aftermath of that vaccine. There are people who are watching this right now and those who are going to watch it, they go with this vaccine. And I told you, and I even demonstrated to myself that I'm going to travel with that vaccine. You don't need it. Every, every, every side effect of that vaccine, it is being destroyed now in Jesus' name. I decree destruction of the side effect of that vaccine. I decree destruction of side effect of any medication that you took. I decree your body is perfect. You will not suffer from a heart attack. That heart attack I decree back to sender. Back to sender in the name of Jesus. I shield your heart. I shield your bones. I shield your blood. I shield your flesh. You are secured in the name of Jesus. And I decree a curse of a prophet to every sickness and disease in your body in the name of Jesus. The Lord showed me in this vision every single time you pray, don't underestimate your prayer. Every single time you just pray. You don't need to feel anything. Just pray. Hold hands and pray. Every time you hold hands, even if it's two minutes, even if it's five minutes, something is happening. I saw it. I saw it. And God told me, I should say it here. Don't be blinded. Don't be fooled. Pray. Luke 18 verse 1 and inspect a parable unto this end that men ought always to pray and not to faint. You shall not faint. You shall be able to pray. You shall be able to be full of strength every single day in the name of Jesus. I decree it is done. I bless you all in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. I will see you again on Friday which I da it's dubbed Friday Prayer Clinic where God is at, you know, taking care of our prayer life. Are you hearing me, somebody? Yeah. Make sure you welcome your brothers, your sisters, your friends, your workmates, your colleagues to join us. They can join online, they can join physically here in Nairobi, whatever. Make sure you join. There is no excuse. We don't have an excuse. God has given us avenues to meet together, to pray together. It doesn't matter where you are. You could be you know, in America right now, it doesn't matter. You, you are praying together with us. And there are people who are following us online. May God bless you so much. And may God give you the strength to keep on moving on. You shall not give up on the way. And your blessing will not be stolen by anybody. And what was taken away from you is coming back to you seven times. It is coming back to you. I'm telling you, it is coming. You shall touch it with your own hands. Don't forget to testify. I will see you on our Friday prayer clinic this coming Friday by the grace of God that is working in this commission. May God bless you for coming and I want to decree that every single prayer point you came here with has been time to become a testimony. And that testimony will not be reversed by anything or by anyone. May God bless you. May God keep you. This is prophetic encounter where God is speaking each and every single day. I'm coming to you live from Nairobi, Kenya and I'll see you again on Friday on this particular altar to pray together with you and to pray for you. Until then, I love you all and Shalom.